Well, let's talk to uh, Gilbert Achkar, the uh, Professor of Development Studies and International Relations at SOAS in uh, the University of London. Gilbert, good to see you. Welcome. Um, what are the obstacles preventing uh, a deal uh, to continue the ceasefire? Well, uh, exactly the same reason that uh, that is preventing uh, first Israel to accept the idea of a ceasefire and even the United States to call for a ceasefire which is that uh, they, I mean, they have set themselves the goal, the target of, of eradicating Hamas, destroying Hamas, as they say, and uh, that can't be achieved by occupying just uh, one, one half of Gaza. So they definitely want to continue until they reoccupy the whole of the Gaza Strip, uh, which will have an absolutely huge uh, uh, cost. It has already had a, a tremendously high cost of 15,000 people killed, which is a massacre of genocidal proportion. But uh, uh, if, if Israel carries on occupying the rest of Gaza, the the number of victims will will uh, will I mean skyrocket. I mean it will, it will go far far beyond what we what we've seen until now. So basically, yes, that's what uh, they they want to carry on there, and uh, that, that's why they reject the idea of a ceasefire and only accept the idea of momentary temporary pauses, truce as it's called, nothing more. Given, given the continuation of uh, talks um, between uh, Qatari and Egyptian uh, mediators, um, do you see any possibility for uh, de-escalation um, uh, or ceasefire? Well, there have been kind of uh, leaks or informations about uh, these ongoing uh, discussions in, uh, in Qatar between the, the heads of the intelligence services of uh, uh, Egypt, uh, the Mossad, the Israeli Mossad, the, the American CIA, uh, uh, and uh, I mean, one scenario that is discussed uh, apparently, uh, probably something that the Egyptian side is trying to to promote, is the idea of an evacuation of uh, of the Hamas uh, fighters and, and leaders. Uh, 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 following the, the pattern of what happened in Beirut in 1982 when uh, Israel invaded Lebanon and you had the siege of Beirut and then uh, that was kind of resolved by the evacuation of the PLO uh, fighters and uh, leaders uh, from Beirut by sea. So there are talks about a scenario of this kind, but uh, I'm far from sure that uh, either of the two sides could accept that, whether Hamas or Israel. Uh, uh, I'm not sure that any of these two sides would uh, would be satisfied with such a, a formula. Gilbert, good to talk to you, and thanks very much for uh, your analysis. Uh, Gilbert Akka, Professor of Development Studies and International Relations at SOAS in the University of London.